All right, Ed. So welcome back to my channel. My name's Robin Clever, and I'm out here on site and I'm doing some work in a bathroom. Yes, carpenters do get involved with work in bathrooms. In fact, more and more and more. We have to do framing out. Everyone wants stuff hidden away, pipe work, taps in walls, taps out of walls, bath fillers out of walls, shower valves in walls. It just involves a lot of carpentry and setting out. So the first thing I always do is look at what we've got. I like to have everything here. So I'm talking about baths, basins, WCs, anything that's getting built into boxings and to know where we're going when we've got it. Because quite a lot of times when in the past where clients say we're gonna have this, we're gonna have this, we're gonna have this. So you get the download off the web, you build something and then they turn around and say, we can't get it for six weeks. We're gonna get something else and it's completely different. And you've got to undo your work and redo it. And it's never the same second time round. So what I like to do is do some sketches of the elevations showing the client or the customer exactly what we're looking at and that enables them to visualize it because we haven't got the luxury of a bathroom showroom going this is your plan and this is how it's going to be. Generally speaking on a refurb it's, it's design and build and yes you could go off and get your plans done by someone I'd sometimes recommend that but quite often you need to consult the plumber you need to consult you know ev everyone else who may have a bearing on how the outcome is going to be so we're going to frame this out we've got a concealed cistern and it's the type that supports the WC so it's a metal frame with a cistern in it it supports the uh, WC the WC is elevated off the ground and it'll take around about 400 kilos that frame which is absolutely amazing we're going to whack that in the boxing we're going to provide grounds for our basin it's a big basin that's going to have a floating cabinet underneath and we've got the supplies roughly where we need them so let's get on make this framing up get the WC in I've core bored through for the soil and we're just outside doing some drainage adjusting all of the drainage to suit that too so this is the frame that supports the WC. This is a typical one that you find anywhere. We have no favorship, favoritism of that brand. It's just one that has been put on site before anyone accuses me of free toilet systems or anything like that. So what the first job is, is I'm gonna stick around a datum, which is for the top of my framework. Let me get out of the way. The top of my framework, I can fit this in there no problem. Now the guidelines for these products is from finished floor, they give you the suggested measurement to the center of the waist. In this case, it's 230 millimeters, roughly nine inches if you're in Imperial. And what we wanna do is assume the finished floor. So this is gonna be tiled. We've seen the tiles. We know roughly how much adhesive there will be underneath, but the floor's out of level. So we need to find the highest spot and allow the tightest amount so the tiler can effectively level the floor. And then we can get this in. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna set that up. We're gonna find the position of it. And the way I need to do that is by plotting the bath onto the floor in the position it's going to be. Getting the WC out, I like to just get the box out, put the box on the ground, because you can sort of roughly see the size of it and making sure we've got enough space between the bath, the WC, and then that we'll see what we get left for our vanity. And then that will govern a cupboard which we've got going on the far end, which is for linen towels and all the rest of it. So we'll set this out and then we'll work our frame out. We'll go and make our frame, we'll bring it in, and we'll fix it back. We're gonna to need to put a bearer on the wall at the back, which is gonna support the lid, if you like, of the framework. And the framework's just gonna be made out of 63 mil CLS. It's a really nice material, super solid, super dry, doesn't shrink too much, and it's ideal for this kind of framing. It doesn't need to be treated. We're working on the right side of the damp course, so everything in here can just be good quality framing timber. Right, we're gonna get on now make that up, fix it in, and get on. I 
did in that short bit of time lapse is I actually started drawing out the spaces that everything's going to need. For example, the bath is like a pebble shape. We know the dimensions of it. And what we need to do is make sure that when the bath is sitting on the ground, we've got enough space all around it. I've popped the frame roughly in the position it needs to be. I've got just the toilet seat out, which is exactly the profile and shape of the loo, obviously to make sure that there's enough area around it, leg room and all the rest of it. And then where we've got left for our vanity unit, and then we're having a cupboard in this corner. So that's the first part of it. We're gonna make a simple frame now out of CLS. We're gonna run the CLS parallel. The floor runs out 15 millimeters, just over half an inch from one side to the other. We'll make our frame parallel in height. We'll make it parallel in length. We'll use a shim underneath it before we fix through to get it exactly nice and true. And then we'll pop in the WC frame. What I am going to do, just because we wanna have a little bit of play left and right, I'll have two studs either side of the WC frame. So we can take one out, shift it over, or you know, either way to give us a little bit more play for my client to decide where they finally want it. So we're gonna go outside, make all that up now, make that frame up, come back in here, fix it all up, and that'll be great. made, fixed in, it's all plumb and level. We have the toilet frame positioned and all we need to do is set that in, but I've got a little bit of airspace either side to, to make sure that we do the final positioning just before we put the soil pipes in and everything else. Um, if my client was here, we could probably do that today, but we'll do that just another time. And then it's a matter of putting all, making sure the four of the first fixing pipes and everything in the right places, getting out. I'm gonna put a skin of plywood on here. Then we're gonna put a tile backer board on here as well. So it's nice and strong. So when that WC bolts back, it's really nice and tight. So that was a nice simple job. A lot of this now in bathrooms we have to do. Um, just another day in the life of a carpenter. I seem to be framing a lot of bathrooms out now. We've got one more wall to put a, a sort of a, a face on as well because we need to accommodate some taps actually flushing the wall. So we've got to build the whole wall off, 25 millimetres, tile back board over the top of that, and that'll be quite straightforward. So yeah, I love these little jobs. It's just uh, makes a change from doing something else. Anyway, thanks for joining me on the channel. I'll catch you all again soon.